हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट अ सीरीज ऑफ ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ क्लास अलेवेंथ एंड क्लास ट्वेल्थ बॉटनी एज वी ऑल नो that in the prevailing circumstances of covid-19 pandemic crisis neither the students nor the teachers are able to attend the classes so i decided to prepare some online lectures audio lectures because present conditions are not supporting the video lectures before starting i want to give a brief introduction of myself i am dr amar preet kaur a kashmiri woman born and brought up in kashmir and currently i am working as a lecturer of botany in department of education of government jammu and kashmir i would like to begin with the class 11th syllabus in class 11th in first term we have two units first unit diversity of life and second unit kingdom plantia in first unit that is diversity of life we have to read certain topics like systematics binomial nomenclature kingdom classification we have two kingdom classification system and five kingdom classification other than that there are certain uh, topics like viruses and viroids uh, lichens and some taxonomical aids i would like to begin with taxonomy taxonomy is a study of principles and procedures of classification it is derived from two words taxis that means arrangement and nomos law taxonomy is having three important steps okay the first is identification second nomenclature and third classification so the first term is identification in it we identify an organism on the basis of certain characters earlier we were identifying on the basis of external morphological characters and one important point as a lecture is of botany here i am going to give only the example of plants okay so we identify a plant on the basis of uh, morphological characters like uh, on the basis of type of leaves stem fruit and roots and the second step nomenclature a means like naming of organisms of plants and we don't name it with our own choice there is a set of rules the scientific rules uh, that is a very famously known as icbn nomenclature so we are going to use dat system to name any kind of plant and the third is classification classification is very important point as in it we group we have made certain groups and uh, we put the identified and uh, uh, named plant into that group so the third step is classification system now there is a uh, another term systematics it is proposed by carlos linnaeus who is also known father of modern taxonomy okay so the word literally means um uh, systema it is derived from systema which means systematic arrangement of organisms systematics is the process of organizing taxonomic information about organisms into a logical classification okay it includes the description of external morphological characters of plants or living organisms but here i am dealing with botany so i will use only plants so this was a time when carlos linnaeus identified the plants and classified them accordingly but it should be reminded that nowadays we are not considering only morphological characters as uh, the we have very developed systems nowadays we are using um, uh, their chemical analysis to identify 
plants and also genetic analysis uh, so these are the advanced techniques but earlier days systematics was only related to a uh, description of external morphological characters there is another term that is related with this uh, systematics is neo systematics it was a coined by julian huxley in 1940 it includes description of both external and internal structures of a plant along with the structure of cell development uh, and ecological information okay there is a famous term cytotaxonomy in cytotaxonomy what are we doing we are analyzing the cell structure in cell structure particularly the chromosome we count the chromosome number and also the structure of chromosomes and their behavior for identification of plants chemo taxonomy is also very important in classification system we identify uh, plants on certain characters like uh, on the basis of aromatic um, constituents that are present in the plants for example um, we have a mint family in mint family there is a particular kind of, of fragrance so with the similarity in the fragrance we can identify a plant so this we uh, give it a name of chemo taxonomy in my other lecture i will uh, i will cover binomial nomenclature and classification system thank you for listening in case you have missed any of the lecture you can go to my website that is amarpreetkaur.com a m a r p r w -E e t k o u r dot com and download lectures from there